In kindergarten, I was not learning my ABCs. I was held back, diagnosed with severe dyslexia, the top 5% of severity, and dysgraphia. I spelled phonetically. When reading aloud, I was teased by, by my classmates because of how I sounded out each letter. Because I put in significant extra effort to do what seemed simple to my peers, I became self-conscious, frustrated, and felt that my reading was inadequate. In second grade, I was still looking at picture books while the class had moved on to bigger, more complex stories. Reading chapter books was a slow, painful struggle, and eventually I lost interest in the story. My parents could not afford to buy all the audiobooks I wanted. I felt excluded from a world of archived stories before learning LA. I felt alone, separated by literacy. Not being able to read, I adapted by becoming more becoming good at comprehending through listening. When I was eight, I got my first iPod and was introduced to different audiobooks. I began utilizing Learning Ally. For instance, on field trips to the library before Learning Ally, I was looking at picture books and comic books. But with Learning Ally, I could download and listen while I flipped through the library books pages. I was not no longer confused or felt ostracized because I began reading stories alongside my classmates. My vocabulary and understanding of plot structure, de structure developed with Learning Ally. I began listening and understanding the beauty of a well-written story. Learning Ally highlighted digital text to go along with the audio. I began recognizing the spelling of words and my reading fluency increased. Although I would never fully be able to read as effectively as others, I am in a fifth grade reading level today. I learned that there is no, not just one way to learn. Learning Ally taught me that developing my learning through listening skills is just as valuable as learning through reading skills.